Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Minions of Mirth. Now, I went ahead and talked to Era here, and I have the script pulled up. Um, it says, I wonder when, he, um, I, I asked her, um, let's see, we can actually ask on someone else. Let's ask on Kuvija. Uh, Chancellor Tolop asked me to come. What do you know about the rumors in Trinst? Okay, let me make sure I'm not, uh, if I'm getting, okay, it doesn't give me any kind of, uh, presence or anything by doing this so good. Um, so this is what she says. I wonder, I wondered when he would send someone by. Well, before I tell you what I know, I want you to do something for me. The wolves come out at night and keep me up with their incessant howling bring me four gray wolf hides from uh, these hills and i shall tell you what i know all right so we've killed the wolves and we got the hides we're back and um i have done what you asked oh whoa 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 okay that oh that always means something and gain boots of agility. Earring of error. Uh, so we're, we're getting items out of this. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, this is where we got the update for, um, for talking to her the first time. Second time, let's actually go into the inventory here. And go to page one. And we got um, a medallion. Boots of Agility. Whoa. Yeah, buddy. Those are nice. Um, and what was the, the earring? Oh, my goodness. That's uh, that's nice. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It says one charge. One charge of what? This earring can be worn for... Um, okay, I keep moving away from it. This earring can be worn for a boost of stats... Or use once to decrease the wearer's visibility. Okay. So we got that. We got, whoa, eight presents out of that as well. Uh, you have unlocked Grey Wolf Monster Template. Okay. Um, splendid. No more howling to keep me awake. Now you wanted to know something, uh, didn't you? I believe a okay. I believe a spy has been sent to Trinst with um from Cold uh, Coldar. Locate him, and you will okay. You will understand the source of the rumors. Here, here. Please accept these as a token of my friendship. Use them wisely. Now return to Chancellor Tullop. All right. So now we just need to do the turn in on everyone. So we get that eight presents. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Done this, yes. Okay, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> um, I, no one said anything about it in the last video, but it's it's something I do a lot. Um, <laughs> where whenever I'm turning in te uh, quiz as six people, I say this line over and over again. So I'm, I'm not saying it. We're saying other words, um, but yeah, so we got the gray wolf hide or the gray wolf uh template now, and we got eight presents on everybody that is amazing. So we are now what what is our presence up to 15 presents that is beastly, and then we also got some bonuses to our experience. Um, actually, this person leveled, it looks like. They're level 3 cleric. What? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head back over to town. And we'll talk to uh, Chancellor Tullop. And, um, and see where we go from here. Okay, so now we're back. We're at Chancellor Tullop. And we're going to go ahead and talk to him on everybody, I believe. He'll give presents. Um, I bring information from Era. Okay, I see she got uh, you to perform a test for her. 
the looks on uh, the look on your face however says she gave you some bad news a spy here in Trent, you say enter shallon's uh Shallon's temple and see if you can find this um calderian spy i wish uh it would say the actual name i think maybe it's in here but anyway let's go ahead and make sure we all talk to him um because it gave us four presents and a medallion Ooh, we'll have to check out what that medallion is um there we go actually let's move this over here and there we go Okay, and lost. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me tell you about the Shell and Temple. <laughs> if I remember correctly, it is hard. Um, but we're going to go try it out. By the way, these boots. Oh, wait, I didn't put my boots on him. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I thought I put boots on everybody. Um, anyway, these boots. They proc the, the run speed. It's here. It says agility movement one. Um, it's, it's the proc from this, apparently. Um, it's weird. It's weird how it works. <laughs> anyway. Um, also, did I get the earring on him? Make sure. Earring. It's there. there it is. It's hard to see. Alright, everyone has their earring. Nothing new. By the way, this was uh, for completing the very, very first part of the Fellowship of Light quest. And I just haven't uh, put it in the bank yet. Alright. So, I'm going to say that this is not going to be possible. Um, yet. But, but we'll see. And I think what we'll end up, in, uh, what we'll end up doing is shoring up all of our levels. Uh, meaning that we'll take all of our characters to level 10, 10, 10. Um, but let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like over here. So there's these guys down here. These are all casters. Uh, but right now they're, pro they're probably getting to a point where they're pretty easy. There's a guy who roams up here who drops a necklace... Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, we'll have to we'll have to check him out. But he doesn't always drop it. So this is the Shallon's Temple. <laughs> These are all like paladins and and whatnot. Um, Shallon Initiate. Here we go. Let's do a search. And here, search. C. Uh, okay. S H O L I N. Initiate. Initiate. Am I still there? In oh, it's an I before, an I after. There we go. Search that. Didn't did, what? Did it not find it? Oh, there it is. So it's level thirteen, just to get into here. Um, and when you run in, it, you're gonna get a lot of guys. Those guards up there. Those guys are pretty hard also, I think. I think they're the same level. Guard. H. N. Search. Yeah, 13 cleric warriors. So, they're going to be pretty hard. I know that they drop some really cool items. Um, like the bard shield. Shield of cleric or paladin. Yep. And... Cleric sleeves, cleric um, chest. I thought there's a full set of cleric gear here, and I think also um, let's see if we go back. Vestment sleeves, shield. There's a shield for the cleric. 
sustaining warrior. It's also a warrior shield with 25 armor on it. And then it also gives a boosted proc. Uh, the procs in this game are so weird. <laughs> because it's like randomly casting that, that, that speed on everyone except for like a few people. Um, but anyway, these guys, we cannot do them yet. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go start uh, farming experience. And it'll probably be a few hours, but um, for the, the magic of television, <laughs> um, it'll be moments. Okay, so we are back and we're heading over to the Shaolin Temple. Um, I have to say, first off, I have died several times. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's been uh, painful. Um, first off, I tried to take on the Shaolin by themselves. Uh, then I tried to take on the goblin um, uh, spy by himself, and then um, uh, I I got to where I was able to kill him, but that was with everyone dead except for the cleric and the uh, the bard. And the bard it took forever for him to be able to get him down, and then uh, finally we got him killed. So. That said, we're going to go ahead and try it again. <laughs> we haven't leveled any further. We've actually de-leveled some of our guys. Uh, everyone should be around 11. Oh, we got our warriors 12 now. Um, let's go ahead and repair stuff. And what? Why does he have that? Let's put that on him. And then we have... Instructions from Baron Wormwall. The this ominous letter is instructions merely um, merely says destroy the Fellowship of Light and uh, is signed Mephrit. All right. Oh, I I remember who Mephrit is. Um, anyway, we're gonna put that on him uh, because that way he is the first one to have it. Um, <laughs> So here's my plans for taking this guy down. Uh, I don't think I can do it without having a heal train going on. Um, also, we're going to have an issue when we get in here. Because um, there's an undead guy. And an undead guy can see through invisibility. <laughs> uh, so the plan here is to go ahead and take him target 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 and also have him target the warrior the reason I'm having the paladin slash right who's what did someone get attacked someone got hurt Nobody, okay no okay we're good um, the reason we're having the ranger slash paladin do it is because he has lay hands that's an instant full uh, health life uh, heal. All right, let's let's move in. Let's be swift. Let's get around this corner ASAP. Um, because if this undead sees us, okay, he's pathing way back there. Okay, good, good. We should be able to kill this guy um, solo. So I have an idea. Um, we're gonna go ahead and root him first. Um, this should be interesting if we can get him rooted. If we get him rooted, we can cast on him. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Here we go. Okay, is he... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he rooted? Is he... Oh, good. He's fighting the Shaolin. And the wizard's dead. That's bad. Okay, so he... Look at how fast he killed that guy. Uh, uh, get, get aggro, get aggro, get aggro. Okay, so cleric is still on him. Um, he's still on him. And uh, him. Let's go ahead and get attack on him. There we go. Okay, we're gonna start healing. And we're gonna heal again. 
because he should have aggro. He should be holding aggro now. We're going to go ahead and throw on his offensive abilities. That includes rage. And um, look at the amount of damage this guy is doing. 100 damage at a time. And these only heal for 200 uh, hit points. If I see... Oh, it's just noises. Ugh. Um, let's go ahead and throw down the offensive abilities of this guy who's pretty high he does 600 he just did six seven eight eight hundred and forty damage um oh hello um let's go ahead and do the heals here still do these guys he should be still targeting him okay um we're gonna go ahead and do this just keep healing them just keep keep the heals keep the heals on don't let anyone die Oh my goodness, this is absolutely nuts, um, how hard this guy is. Um, how, I don't even know if his health. Someone died. Why is, is he, is he so close to dead now? <sighs> well, we'll take this. Go into inventory. Go to number two. Put that there. Can't put it there. Alright, we'll put it there all right so here's how we're gonna do this we're gonna stay here in this room and i'm gonna kill him four more times with these guys warrior is the only one who's gonna attack and i'm gonna just have to try to keep him alive he, he's, he's gonna have to have the defensive ability up uh, if he doesn't then um we're gonna we're not gonna be able to make it okay so we're back and i've done some more leveling um just to see if it makes it easier to kill the guy so i'm now level 13 12 um i've just been trying to keep the levels close together and um you can see that um Shablazzle is the one who's died the most because his experience is the lowest. Even though these guys leveled 80% of um, off of Shablazzle. Uh, the experience loss, uh, even with the res. Actually, no, I was unable to even res him. Uh, maybe I, I forget. I think I was walking through the sewers and just killing things randomly. And that's, most, that's how these guys ended up getting more experience than him. Either way, he's, he's behind... Uh, but anyway, we're going to try this again. Um, I am going to pretty much put um, my cleric and my bard targeting um, the, the main tank. The main tank, actually, is going to target the emissary. And um, the wizard is going to start to attack whenever the warrior does. The reason we're not being attacked and the reason you can see me right now is because at level um, 13, my wizard got, maybe it was uh, earlier, 13, 12, something like that, um, I got CM Viz. So, yeah, 12. So, I can CM Viz. I can shrink now and I can enlarge so I can make myself bigger. But um, the task is... Um, to save the life of whoever is being attacked. And I think, um, actually, we, we want to change over to the monk. Even though they have lower health, they have higher um, evasive stats. So make sure uh, Ishtok is selected. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on the attack of these two. I'm going to actually click on them so that I can see that they're targeted um oh we okay no, never mind <laughs> sorry I'm gonna switch back up to him because his ability his defensive abilities are back up all right here's here here we go we're gonna just let's do this okay he's now has aggro we're gonna go ahead and start doing our damage over time spell on him does two hundred damage plus it also does damage. Oh, oh my, he's he's getting hit pretty bad. Um, we'll go ahead and have he he's still on Ashiva. 
Okay, well, we'll go ahead and make sure that he heals himself real quick. He has quick heal now. So there we go. He's healed himself. Um, these guys need to go ahead and heal. There we go. I'm um, doing good. This is definitely going much better than last time. Um, definitely need to turn on the attack of the monk. Okay, heals. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and um, have him target him. We're going to go ahead and do the poison spell again. Make sure these guys are just topping off health here and there. There we go. We want to keep him full. So pretty much whenever we have our four clerics going, this is how it'll have to be. Is we'll go heal on him, heal on him, uh, DPS when we can, then heals, 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 DPS when we can. Oh my God, he just died. To, had to have been a merciless strike, right? Oh, grab the aggro. Kill him. <sighs> that sucks. He died again. It's just, <laughs> it's just happening that way. Um, I think I went ahead and put the, the book on him last time. Anyway, um, I'm going to finish up this. We're going to turn this thing in. Okay, so it probably took a good... I don't know... <laughs> A good amount of time to finally get everyone their goblin emissary uh, note thing. The um, the note to Baron uh, Wormwell. Uh, anyway, we're back here at Chancellor Tullup. The spy has been taken care of. Interesting letter. I wonder who uh, Mephrit, Mephrit is. Perhaps it is a, uh, it is the Minions of Darkness idea of a sick joke. They may have wanted to uh, that emissary dead and thought they could let us take care of their problem. Who knows? However, while you were gone, I received word that um, <laughs> Ronth, Rontharo? Uh, Rontharo, the plague bringer, I guess is how you would say that, uh, may have returned to Trinst. Our city couldn't uh, sustain another attack. We must stop him before he regains any of his former strength. All right, let's go ahead and go into inventory real quick, see if we got anything else. Letter to Vagrin. Uh, I don't know. I'm not good with pr uh, pronunciation of those things. But we got eight presents. We are now up to 27 presents. Nice. And we jumped from uh, what I thought was like 600 hit points to 800 hit points now. And uh, other stats are good. Good stuff. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's go ahead and repair real quick. There we go. And um, go ahead and continue doing this just to get everybody on board. Okay. There we go. Now we've taken care of that. Before we end, we're going to go ahead and take this note over to um, Vagrin. Vag, vagin, vag, vagin, <laughs> whatever you, you want to say it as. Um, anyway, we're on part H. The next part, if I remember correctly, is to gather these things, these, um, um, these parchment pieces. You have to have five of them, and the kingly rat drops them. And there's another person in there, um, like a few sections into uh, the area that um, drops them as well. But they have placeholders as well, so it'll be it won't be very hard to kill them. It, it just may take time. Chancellor, okay, 
The sewers are evil, vile place. Chancellor Talpa send me to help. Okay. No note. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, good. Unfortunately, the last page of the book is missing. Uh, if you hand the missing, uh, if you, if I had the missing page, I would, uh, I may be able to finally solve the clue unlocking the altar. Um, I'll go down there for you. Okay. Okay, just looking here. It says, uh, your journal. Okay, don't get... The, um, you don't get any presents, but we'll do it for everyone, I guess. Okay. Just so it's in everybody's notebooks. And then there we go. Alright, so we have taken care of that. Um, so if we go into here, it should say, a, uh, I retrieve five parchment pieces from Trent's sewers. So that's what we're going to have to do next time. I'm going to work on it until then because it's going to take time for us to get all five of them six times. Um, it'll probably take me a few days to do that. So expect a new video then um, once I have all the parchment pieces. I'll also show you Trent's. We also need to kill Alazar if he's ever up. Actually, yeah, uh, if he's ever up because we need the ring for Ishtok. So anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed and next time, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get those parchment pieces and uh, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.